Band Live from Studio 5. OK, our next guests are a band who like to do things a little differently. Instead of an album, they're releasing a single every fortnight for a year. That's 26 singles in total. They're brilliant, Ash. And here's a reminder why we love them. She never told me your name. I still love you to go for We should have just seen you all. Really. That might have been a quick way of doing it. But we like to welcome our guests. Guys, how are you we doing? Do. We do. What a thanks. pleasure. A real yeah. pleasure having you on the show. By the time we finish short, we've got a two minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, fellas, you, 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 performing, you look like the kind of guys, that when you, say, you, you don't get tired of performing ever. You're well, bored of that. No, no, we've had a bit of a break now, actually, and we're starting a, a, like a six or seven week UK tour. A to Z, um, we're wow. starting at Aldershot, finishing in Zenner. That wow! Yeah. Whose idea was that? Yeah. That was our manager who's watching us live one night, and we, we've got this plan. You know, we're doing 26 singles in one year, so Jeez. it ties into the alphabet, and we're calling this the A to Z series. So very original. You've yeah. cheated a bit with with X, though. Yeah, yeah. Where are you going? Xmouth, yeah. We, we googled it. There, there ain't no X's in this no country. X. Yeah, okay. we would have to go to China. Oh, so we look. Okay. I mean, why have you decided to do it that way? Because obviously, normally, you know, people release an album. You've mm. got your number. You know, you've got your, all your material on there. Why do it this way? I think like albums have become sort of very devalued. It's not like the same event that it used to be, and so we're trying to trying to find a way of sort of putting value into music and you know make it exciting again. So um, is that because you think do you think that you know more people will sort of choose tracks that they like as opposed to you know just going out and buying the album? Yeah, you know, yeah, entirety? definitely. You know, people have been more cherry picking songs from albums, and I don't know, you know. Bands have been sort of giving albums away for free with Sunday newspapers, and you know, like imagine like working for two years and that's you know you that's your album comes out and it's gone, you know. Do you think mm. you make more money or less money by doing it that way? Don't know. We just hope to survive, you know, and yeah. keep, to keep doing. It's music. not about the money, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah, about yeah. the craft. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what about the, the, the new the new what, True Love? True Love 1980. Yeah. Tell me about True Love, man. Um, well, it's quite a departure for us. It's quite a like synth-driven song and. Uh, Kind of reflects what we're doing. We're sort of no rules anymore. We're just doing anything. We, you know, yeah. so we can do like sort of weird '80s pop ballads. We can do John Waters inspired. Yeah, Pr yeah. Think. We got a clip. Yeah, oh, we got a clip. <laughs> In thinking that you guys haven't actually finished writing all of your 20 No, yet. it's quite scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, How many have yeah. you done? Well, we've 44. Yeah. Even, I know. Um, yeah, 44, that's yeah, a lot we just, of Because everyone's going to be a single, they've all got to stand up as individual tracks, as opposed to the album, you can kind of like, have tracks buried, but this way everyone's getting equal scrutiny. So, so yeah. how do you do that? Do you like, just sit down somewhere, just go and like, you know, just yeah. brainstorm it. Yeah, we've got our own studio in New York, so you know. Oh, yeah. You don't say. Yeah, exactly. It's great. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've just been in there for like a year and a half, working and nonstop. Mark, is it also right that you all individually designed the, the sleeve covers? Well, we sort of came up with a concept for the for the whole series, where it's just different colors and letters, and the whole thing fits together, like a I don't know, like a set and. We were releasing like a thousand limited edition vinyls as well, just for the real hardcore collectors, oh and they God. get but that. But if this works, yeah. everyone's going to do it, aren't they? I think so. You know, imagine like someone like you two, they're massive, you know, yeah. you know, fan base. Yeah, we're just trying to find a new way because. I just I think giving away your album for free, you know, it's not you're not gonna last, you know. Music's just you know, you can't afford you know, it's expensive to make records. Uh, so. We find ourselves in a three year cycle where, you know, to write a new album then go on tour it and then um, 
promote it and stuff. That was like three years for every album. In this way, we're releasing new music constantly over a year. Keeps our fans really involved and they're looking yeah. forward to something like their favourite TV show comes out every two weeks or something. Yeah. It drip feeds it fresh. Like it. Yeah, yeah, it teases yeah. them, you know. Yeah, like I've got, there's a great Andy Warhol quote about, um, you know, waiting for something makes it more exciting. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. And uh, obviously, you know, you first made it when all the all the brick bands um, came out. You know, the, yeah. the good old golden age of brick pop. Yeah. A lot of them are breaking up now. And what, yeah. do, you, what do you make of that? Oh, that's pretty sad. But um, well, actually, it's got to the point where they're all reforming now. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> we've been around that long. But uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, we sort of survived, really. We've been together. What is it? What keeps you together? We like? all went to school together, so we're all like, you know, the schoolmates, and we're, you know, we started when we were like 15. So. Did you really? What, yeah. what was it oh. like? One of your bedrooms? Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. In fact, we got our guitars whenever we were like 12 years old, and from Santa, and then yeah. we started teaching ourselves straight away. Oh. <laughs> really from yeah. Santa? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was kids. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, wow. don't want to ruin it for anyone yeah. out there. <laughs> I think one of the other reasons that you're, you're doing so well and you guys are still here when, when others aren't is that you've, just, you've constantly kept on gigging, yeah. haven't you? And, you know, and, and I think so much of it is, is about you know, being able to sh you know, provide good music. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, when, you, when you're playing live, you've got that close connection to your fans. and yeah, That's why we're doing this tour. Like, we're not doing any major cities. We're going off the beaten track. You know, we're doing... Got to ask, got to ask, go. where are you going for Zed? Because you're going yeah. to every different town. Oh, yeah. Zenner. 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 Zenner in Cornwall. Zenner in Cornwall. It's like about 200 people. So, so, is that the only one you could choose? Yeah, yeah. I think there, there might be a couple in Cornwall, but yeah. You don't even know the size yeah. of the venues and everything. You're just going to go well, wherever. Yeah. This one's like 70 people. I love wow! That. Oh, yeah. I want to go to that. That would be so cool. Your own personal cool. gig. That is absolutely brilliant. Well, it's really great to see All you guys. Best, Good Ash. luck with Ash. everything. Ash. Yay. All the best, Ash. Love the way you love your fans. Yeah. Okie dokie.